When I heard Dr. King for the first time in Spelman College's chapel in 1960, he said the following, that two things that I remember that keep me going straight when I want to not go is that first, take the first step if you can't see the whole stairway, but take the first step in faith and let God do the rest. And so I think that having that faith, which is why I just want to remind us these days when it looks like transforming change is going to be impossible, it isn't. You just do the right thing and take that step and stick with it. And if enough of us begin to do that, you're going to get that second transforming movement in this era to put the social and economic underpinnings beneath the civil rights. And we can do that. So just have faith you can do that. And the second thing he said was to keep moving forward. He says that if you can't fly, you, you drive. If you can't drive, you run. If you can't run, you walk. If you can't walk, you crawl, but you keep moving forward. And I am deeply afraid that we are moving backwards in America, and it lies with our children. I'm so terrified of what is happening to children of color who are going to be the majority, are already the majority of our children two and under, and you see the demographics in this county, every place. Almost half of New York State's children are, are children of color, black, the, the Hispanics are the largest group. Um, and so we've got to begin to understand that we've got to deal with the fact that we have a very big child crisis, but this means a very big national crisis. So your work in this organization is very important. Every fifth child, 16.1 million children, is poor. And we've got about half of those children living in extreme poverty. And the poorer they are, the younger they are. I mean, this is just in, in these early years of greatest brain development, the science has come a long way in your last 100 years and in our last 40 years with people like Jack Shonko. And I mean, how, how can we let this happen with babies and toddlers? They have no politics, but they are our most cost-effective and important investment, and yet we're wiping them all out, and many of them, which is why I can't say with enough urgency the need for a high-quality early childhood system, which we can get done.